Right. Oh, hello there. Uh, I'm down on the beach today. A um, couple of hours on there. It's been windy and raining. Harsh weather. It's almost May as well. Unbelievable. Uh, I'm going to be using the whites today because my Chinese machine's under repair. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, yeah, just go have a couple of hours. Don't know if I'll do any filming down there because um, it's really windy. If I find anything really good, I might do. Um, if not, I'll show you what I find at the end. If I find anything, if not, you might even see this. <laughs> um, yeah, show you the weather. Right. Very wet. Very windy. Not very nice at all. So, uh, yeah. One's under repair at the minute. JB Weld. Oh, sorry, finger over the mic. That one's under repair at the minute. Bit of JB Weld on there. Yeah. Yeah, not very nice at all. Right, let's get down there. Right, this is what we found yesterday, not a lot. That was really poor down there, still quite sanded up, so just a plug. You heard the little copper bit of wire on it. Uh, plenty of that, I just left that there, but there's more of that gone in the bin. Thought that was a five bullet. It's just a stone. Picked up, so it's not novelty. Um, got that. Right shape, wrong object. It's a bit of plumbing. Bit of brass, another bit of brass, scrap, a button, big brass washer, I don't know if it is because I can see some writing around there, so I'll check that out later. It's pretty worn away, whatever it is. Anyway, a lot of wind last night, and it's still really windy now. Um, a lot of rain, it's freezing cold, I've got my winter mitts and that at the ready. Uh, I'm now going to go down there and have a look, I reckon it's roughed up a bit now, see if it's done any damage, but um, yeah, it's May tomorrow, it's absolutely freezing, Whoop. open, open sesame, right, I've just been down there, it's rough as anything, you'll see the clips in a minute, um, yeah, I'll tell you when to turn the volume down because the wind noise is atrocious. I also found this yesterday, I forgot to mention it, eyeballed, sticking out the cliff. It's actually got embossed on at Hunt Limited, Great Yarmouth. Please return. It's one of the old Bakelite top ones. Looks new. It was sticking out the cliff. Stuff inside the cliff hasn't been touched for years and it's just sat there so it comes out really good. But yeah, just been down there, it was high tide a couple of hours ago and I was still whacking it in the cliff. Anyway, I'm going to show you some clips of that. The wind noise is absolutely atrocious, so you might want to turn the volume down in about five seconds. Right, I might be back down there later if the tide goes down. See ya. Well, it looks like here we go again. I don't know who it is. I don't know if you can hear me above the wind, but it's cutting out the edge again. All the sand I've put in is now getting washed out again. Shallies up there, hanging on the edge, they're going to go in. Sand has been cut. There we go! Oh. Alright, back against the cliff, yeah that's mental out there. It's getting all cut away again, so... Shame. Put all this sand back in here. It's now all going. 
doing again, but... Right, a bit quieter here. That was um, two hours after high tide, that was. So that was on the way down, but I was still hitting them cliffs pretty good. Anyway, it's been atrocious. It's been chucking it down since then. It's now 3.15, that was um, 10.30. Yeah, like I say, it's been atrocious weather. I don't think anyone else will be down there. It's soaked, but I've geared up. Uh, probably going to be called a bit crazy but I'm going to go down there and hit it there's police and television crews down there now I went down there not so long ago there's a little bit of beach there now so yeah well, police and television crews so if I get turned off I might not even do the hump or I might just sneak on further down see how it go anyway I won't be doing any filming down there because it's too wet Right, it's 24 hours later, or it's the next day now, probably um, less than 24 hours actually. But what what difference a day makes? The one day it changed and started cutting it out, and another day, hello, two tuned. Comes our cat, two tuned. Oh, he's a feral. We feed him. Yeah, um, sort of got cut out a bit, not too bad, but you know, threatening a few more shallies. Yes. Yeah, Turned lovely today. Wind's gone from north to west. It's uh, supposed to get up to 12 degrees, so literally my hands are nearly numb by the time I'd finished yesterday. I've only done two hours and God, it was messy. There's my coat, still dried out, covered in sand. And, uh, might go back down there today when I was calmed down. Anyway, this is what I found yesterday in two hours. A pile of lead, the usual. Uh, wheel balance and weight, unusual. Um, junk, didn't find much. Heavy bit of melted alley, just a little glue tube. Found a couple of bits of tin can which I chucked in the bin. Um, yeah, not much rubbish, I think it's all been swept away. All the heavier stuff left, well, a few little light bits, but yeah. Found two locks, another LOF lock, little shards of brass, brass screw, brass locks. Lock part of a lock, there's another part of a lock, key surround. Uh, that's a bit of a Mills grenade. Yeah, and then on the coins, well, we found a button, a little Wayne Fools button. Nine mil bullet, which has been smacked. We've got an old half P, well, modern old half P, if you know what I mean. Six pennies, one two penny. Um, a 1928 and a 1927 George V penny, 1957 two shillings and another two shillings which is toasted but yeah not too bad couple of hours no silver but I'll go back down there a day for a little while so we can get any more lovely day so why not too wet to work still cut grass right let's go down there let's give you a quick shot of what it's like down there now yeah, still getting a complete pound and it's like an hour after high tide now. As you can see, it's still getting a well good pound. Everything they do is just get washed away. They built all this up yesterday, so it's getting washed away again. So. See if we can get down here later. I ain't letting no one down here at the minute though. Royal Cliffs are going to take a beat of the game. You can see how thin it is up there, look. If you're looking straight on, you can see where 
where the, the um, telegraph pole is. It's actually quite thin there now. start taking that road I reckon. Anyway, people were telling me not to come up here. Oh, it's dangerous, don't go up there. There's police there. I mean, oh, don't worry about that. They'll only kick me off. Stay away from the edge. Perfectly safe. Anyway, yeah, we'll see what it's like later. Do I want to be hunting it today or not? There is literally old Bill crawling around up there near the car park. Camera crawling. So, there you have it, it's um, pretty rough still, there's an old girl and some couple of old boys told me not to go up the cliff, they said oh don't go up there it's dangerous, there's police there, they'll, they'll, um, they'll have you, I said that's alright they can only kick me off, and I stayed well away from the edge, I don't know what they were worrying about, not well anyway. Anyway, yeah, quite major. If I go down there today, looks like I'm going to have to sneak down there. <laughs> yeah, we've got news planes going up and down. Well, being they're flying, that must be Sky News. Yeah, it's quite hot now. Um, boys are really loving it. Plenty of pickings from the garden. Right, Zim. <laughs> yeah, I'm now gonna, well, I'll go down there in a little while, in a bit. There'll be loads of people down there though, if you can get on there. Might have to sneak on there. But yeah, if you can get on there, then there'll be loads of people with metal detectors. After it's been on the news and that. Yeah, they'll be down there, they'll be swarming. Flies around shit, they will. A little bit windy still. Yeah, good bit of damage. Someone's already been along here, look. You can see where they've been dragging their scoop and digging holes. But they've only been along the top here, so. I mean anything. There's people on there, so they're letting people down there. Yeah, diggers on us. On the beach, doing the stuff. Right, it's wet beneath out here. I might have a little go in these little dips and little points. Right, catch you if I find anything. Oh, I might do some live dip. Got my cap on, put you on here. Right, sorry about the wind noise. Lump of lead, I should imagine. Oh, interesting looking bit of copper, actually. Something off something. Had a knob on there at one point. Well, lump of copper. Banger. That'll probably be iron. It's a, it's a bit deep now. Yeah, iron. Sort of electrical connector thing. Another chunk of brass, oh well. Hey, first coin. Thrippany bit, Elizabeth. Who was it? Well, something. Alright, just had that. Uh, it's a silver shilling. So I'm on the silver. Just talking about chap over there. He's had a Victoria penny. Yeah, we're on the silver. Let's keep going. Ah, look at that. There's another one in 
the same hole. Drop any bit. Same hole. Bonus. a ring, I'm not sure, is that a ring? No, it's just a bit of rubbish. I'm notching it there. Oh, it could have been a ring. Very close. Oh well. Sound a fantastic signal, but I'm going to dig it anyway. Penny. Oh well. Carry on. Keep on trucking. Gravelly. Oh, just no bracket. Right, enough of filming rubbish. shaking when he dropped that. Awesome. Well he goes for another load. They're certainly putting the effort in down here. Right, it's time to get out of here now. The sea's calmed down a lot. going to clear off. Tea time. I'll show you what I found when I get up. Right, this is everything I've found. Not a great deal, but um, it's worth going. Found a big old spoon. See that? Big bit of copper. Another bit of brass. Those are brass screws and bits of brass and copper. That's brass. That's copper. Brass. Copper wire, some 
big electrical T junction piece. Uh, a couple of bits of lead. Scrappy melted aluminium pieces and a bit of aluminium mesh. And scrap man pole. And we got, whoops, wee. Did he drop the camera? <laughs> and we got um, a saucer for two tones milk. That was a bit of a heart stopper when I first see the edge of it and soon realised that weren't nothing amazing. There you go. With the bullets, quite like this one, I'm not really familiar with them type. I found another one like that. Anyone knows? There's a 303 and there's that one. So I don't know what that one is. Smaller size. It's a 303 shape. Weird. Yeah, I found three, what do you call it, three pincers, three three pincers, three one pennies, one two penny, a five penny, and two old half pennies, a bit of bomb shrapnel, and uh, best find, so that, so 1918, George V shilling, so. I'll show you it when I've get a picture up of it when I've cleaned it up. Anyway, I'll probably do a video out of this lot now because I'll be getting a bit long otherwise. Um, that chap down there, you come all the way from Colchester. It's a bit of a mission. As you see it on the news, he thought he'd give it a go. He was down here in 2013 and said he did alright, but I don't know how he did. He had a couple of bits and pieces, an old Vicky coin and that when I left. But, um, He's down tonight as well, so he's going to stay here till tomorrow. So if you're watching this, bud, all the best. Hope you did all right. And uh, hope we catch up sometime again on the beach. <laughs> right. Right, that was so nice yesterday, but look at it today. <laughs> Horrible. Um, really windy and wet again. Pretty much persistent rain. But if I go down there today, it'll only be for an hour or two. I doubt there'll be any filming involved because um, it's just too messy for my camera. Um, unless I find something awesome, I'll take it anyway because I've seen a waterproof pocket. If I find something amazing, I will quickly film it, but you just have to put up with the wind. Right, show you the finds when I get back. That chap there just walked past me. And he said, um, you want a Roman coin? Gold! I went, yeah, that's what we're after, the gold. And the very next signal, I've just dug this. Now, I don't know if that's real or if it's even a ring, but that's how it's come out. Oh, I think I see it. Ah, yeah, oh, it's a faker. There's some green coming through on it. Oh, God, that looks good, though, doesn't it? Oh! Nearly another faker. Right. Typical, just as home time. Wind's dropped and the uh, sun's coming out. It's pouring down all day. Anyway, I'm going home now. Cliff. Found uh, the ring just sort of along the bottom of the sandy bit where it goes into the low bits, the sort of water and that. Where they join, I found out. So, right, comes the sun. You can see the storm moving off. Sea's coming right down. Threat's passed. Right, I'm going home. Goodbye, cruel beach. See you again. Right, I take that back. Sorry, beach. Um, yeah, this is the finds from yesterday to our hunt. Uh, we've got a little rubbish here. That's kind of like some alloy, no good to me. Go for the scrap man. Bit of lead. Sunglasses pouch or glasses pouch. Um, I think that's a bit of a purse, a really big one. Or some sort of little handbag maybe, clasp thing, um, big old tap, bottle stopper, 
Forster, Forster Moor Limited, Norwich. Um, some sort of little coupling, rubber hosing. Eyes only, obviously. Big, um, what you call it? Rubber grommet, probably off a sink or something. Got a little tiny button off overalls. We're hitting them, hitting them little targets. Brass and bronze, um, bits of wire, bullet casing, to, um, some sort of electrical connector, copper pipe, bits of uh, glasses, spectacles. Found that, don't know what it is, some sort of weird shaped gizmo. Didn't go past. Uh, obviously, part of something, probably electrical again, but. Well, it's good, isn't it? A C. It's like a C. That could be my seal matrix. C. Yeah, and the coins. Got Edward the Seventh half penny. Pretty crusty on that side, or well worn on that. But um, when you flip it over, oh, the other side's atrocious. Anyway, that ain't going to clean up too well. <laughs> And we've got George the Six, 1947, two shillings. Cupro nickel, so that's pretty toasty. George the Six, not sure of the date. Penny. Pretty green, so they don't come out that good neither. Come out even worse, this is a modern 2B, all rusty. Oops, sun's gone in. And we had three pennies. And the pound. And the reason I take that back about the beach is because the ring is gold. The reason it came out with little green and crusty patches on it is because it's, um, well, I've got some markings out of the inside. You wouldn't see them on this camera, but it's actually Mark 375 S and C is the maker. Mark 375 and a symbol and then a G. And I looked it up and apparently 375 is 9 karat gold, that's why it come out a bit crusty. I've heard that, that they come out a bit crusty sometimes, you have to clean them up. Still a little bit tarnished here and there, but yeah, it weighs 6.5 grams. Found it right at the end of the hunt. I was searching, because most people have scoured the cliff, base of the cliff, so I was searching the drop. And as it goes down to the bottom, it turns to like a shingle and then goes into little pools. And I was searching down the bottom there, figuring that the heavy stuff will slide down anyway. Well, here and we were right. So, yeah, I might go back there later. Well, we've still got some tides, but it's May the 3rd today. May the 14th, there's a new moon. So, from that date for a few days after, there'll be some big tides. and should take sand out but hopefully not damage the cliff if there ain't no wind anyway bonus I was going to round that video up the last sort of um, hunt but I thought I'd add this hunt on bins I found that so yeah actually that's my first gold off the beach I've dug plenty of costume jewelry and one silver ring but um, yeah first real bit woohoo Right, hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't. I know you haven't because I haven't got many. <laughs> uh, I'll see you on the next one. Adios.